So today we're replacing the Nortel Compact Integrated Communication System. It's uh, basically a phone system that's older than me, and in this case it died. What you'll notice is they've connected the phone system to two 25-pair BIX blocks. Well, one of the and then the, one of those blocks is connected to the radio for music on hold. It's important to know with this particular system the uh, it's held on by a screw at the bottom and then there's a bracket behind it. If we pry open the side of the system you'll see there are two 25 pair connectors so we're going to remove them. Well, one of those connectors goes to the incoming trunk lines and the other one goes to the outgoing stations basically uh, every single handset uh, is connected by one pair so if we unscrew the the bracket and then take out the 25 pair connectors we're left with the the system which we can easily remove from the wall uh, one thing I want to show you is the software is held on this Nortel card that goes into the, the top of the system. So it just slides right off the bracket. Now what we want to do, the new system, well it's not really new, they're all refurbished because they haven't been manufacturing them. Uh, it's, it came with a bracket so I'm gonna replace the bracket <laughs> and you want to make sure to mount your Nortel system onto a plywood backboard don't mount it onto drywall uh, it's pretty self-explanatory how to replace the bracket and then the system just slides on top and you want to screw the system in at the bottom just to hold it in place and then you want to pry the cover off the side with a screwdriver and put the amp and all connectors back in uh, if you bought a system with amp and all connectors you'd have to terminate the other side to a distribution block depending on the kind of block that you have you want to make sure also to terminate I mean you want to make sure to connect the trunk line into the trunk port and the station line into the station port they are labeled inside the CICS you can see that these blocks do go into a conduit which leads to the suite for the uh, customer and those go to the telephones themselves so once we can secure the lines in the bottom of the system and uh, we have to unscrew this bracket and then tighten it up again a little bit tighter Now you want to do this while the system is off. You don't want to do it while it's on or you could totally fry something. Or maybe not, I'm not totally sure but better be on the safe side with these things. So as I said one pair is the music on hold. I don't know which pair it is. You'll have to lock it up in the manual. Uh, there's a very long manual that shows the wiring exactly and how everything connects but that's a, that would take a while to to explain and in this situation we're not hooking it up so the next thing you want to do is you want to install a software card I put it in backwards here you want the shiny part facing outside. The cards say Avaya on them now, not Nortel, because they're made by Avaya. 
and you want to put the card in until it's in all the way. And then you want to install the trunk cards. They have these tabs that you have to open up. You can't open them up. You need to get a screwdriver and stick it in the gap and then open it up which is what I'm going to do now And then you want to slide these cards into the CICS and be very gentle. You don't want to break off the resistor or something. You want to slide them in all the way and then close the tabs. The one with the white label goes in on the left and the one with the white label with the QR code goes in next. You want to make sure that uh, to, to put them in this way but sometimes it's difficult to, to open them you can open them after sliding the card in and then and then closing them back that always works I was just checking to make sure we put them in in the correct order like like with the old system the old system only had one card and the last thing you want to do is put on the lid and then also connect the radio for a music on hold there, there's a company called ear glue which makes analog music on hold systems that are programmed over the telephone so that's a possibility if you still live in the 19th century um, then you plug the power in I'm gonna have to ta secure the power cord to the wall too after uh, I would recommend you use a surge protector so that you don't mess the system up now that the system is powering on we're gonna go check it out So in this case, we can see the system still booting because the lights are flashing. This is what the old system did, but it just stayed with the lights flashing. Now it's up, but it's, uh, the data is wrong, so we're going to reprogram it. And again, programming this these systems would take me like 14 hours to explain, but you basically don't have a touch screen or anything, so you have to use the the telephone and press a bunch of buttons and go through menus and you only have a one line display to do it but uh, you need to follow the manual which I usually keep on my laptop and then reference it and now we see the date has changed and that's it in this case the client only had two phone lines and they only had um, a few extensions so programming it wasn't really a big deal there wasn't a lot, anything complicated we had to do so it basically just worked out of the box essentially except for setting the date uh, there are many features that you could have to program depending on your needs